Hey guys, Lifestyle Coach Jam here. Rainy day, just outside of F45. <sighs> Great workout. You know, it never ceases to amaze me that one of the greatest discoveries I think I've ever made is that most of us from birth are trained to go through life as a who. Matter of fact, if you look at all the books, and my God, I was listening to Kung Fu Panda with my daughter yesterday and Jack Black was talking about discovering who he really is. And it wasn't until he discovered who he really was that he would understand his chi, which is your life force energy. And it dawned on me how indoctrinated we have all become uh, by being trained to be, as my spiritual teacher, Jeff Carrera, talks about, uh, a thinking thing, or I like to also refer to as a walking psychology. We get brought up as a who and a how. And that's almost the equivalent of if a, if a hose could talk, thinking that it was the supply of the water. When in reality, the hose is only the conduit for the water. And uh, all of the hose's power comes from the water, right? So we're brought up as who's and how's. And we're not brought up as what we really are. Now, what we really are is a whole different ball game. It's a whole different orientation to life. And truth be told, uh, I think there's a lot of vested interests in who and how because that's where all the problems sit. Uh, you Actually, you can't go through life without a whole slew of problems going through as a who and a how. Imagine thinking you're the power of things, you're the source of things when you're just, you know, the who, right? What is what's in power, right? Your what, your spiritual self, your higher self, your true nature, your authentic self. What you really are is what's sourcing everything. Now, I'm not gonna get into a religious conversation because a lot of people will convert what to who, but if you wanna have a spiritual breakthrough, uh, you've gotta start getting grounded in your what. This morning, you know, I'm here at F45 and I, you know, I notice every morning, you know, my daughter had me up twice. She said she didn't get dinner last night, but she did get dinner last night. She said she didn't get dinner and she was hungry this morning. So my wife had to get up and make her uh, one of her Indian dish favorites at three o'clock in the morning. So we're all up having a powwow in the, in the wee hours of the morning. And I didn't get the greatest night's sleep. So that is one of the reasons why your brain comes up with stories because your brain knows how much energy you've got. It knows how much energy you've got. So it's gonna come up with stories about why you don't wanna get up and go work out. And they might be perfectly right. If you understand this broader perspective, they might be perfectly supportive to your life. Now, I also happen to have gotten to bed early last night. So, right, so I'm in bed by 8 p.m. And in bed by 8 p.m., I didn't matter if I got up and it, my sleep interrupted right at three o'clock in the morning. It was only another two hours and I was gonna wake up again. So I actually woke up pretty strong, but still the stories were there. You know, John, just stay in bed, just chill. So the reason why I'm bringing this example up is because if I was completely grounded in my who and my how, I might've succumbed to that story. But grounded in my what, I could see that story for what it was. I could make an accurate assessment and I could get up and do my workout. Despite my wife actually telling me, John, you didn't have a good night's sleep last night. This is going to really impact you today. And we'll see. We'll see if my theory holds true. But the truth of the matter is, for me, was that at the moment of rising this morning, I had two choices. Just to, to wake up as a what with a smile on my face and tackle the day or, or flow into the day, spiritually speaking, or succumb to my story, which may have been accurate, but experience tells me in most cases, stories like that typically are not accurate. And you find out that on the other side of that story is an amazing experience. So the, the summary of this message is, don't not pay attention to your stories. Your brain is there to protect you. Your brain is there to help you achieve your goals. Your brain is playing a vital role, but your brain doesn't always dish up the best advice. 
you, what you really are, right? Grounded in the intelligent energy of the universe is the only place where you're gonna make your most accurate assessment using your brain. This is Lifestyle Coach Jam. If you wanna learn more, you can reach me at lifestylecoachjam.com. Talk to you soon.